One day after a student was tragically killed in front of Doherty High School, teammates and friends are coping with the sudden loss. Tonight, what we're learning about the exchange student who was also a standout athlete and the safety changes her death is now bringing to the school. Good evening, I'm Riley Carroll. And I'm Bart Bedsold. Heather Skold has the night off. Changes are being made at Doherty High School after a student was struck and killed by a Jeep before the start of classes Wednesday. Tonight, we now know that the student was 17-year-old Georgie Tricolia, an athlete in three sports who hailed from Italy, who was here as part of a foreign exchange program. News Channel 13's Annabelle Childress is live at Doherty High School tonight to explain how this tragedy is leading to changes at the school. Annabelle. The goal of making this area is a as a school zone is to slow down the drivers here. Right now, the speed limit is 35, but we have watched drivers fly down this street. The city traffic engineer says that before now, the status quo was to not have speed zones at high schools, but they're reevaluating the environment surrounding all Colorado Springs high schools after Wednesday's tragedy. Yesterday morning, Colorado Springs police say a Jeep ran a red light, hitting and killing a foreign exchange student at Doherty High. The District 11 superintendent says there are multiple issues that the city needs to address. Over 25% of our high school students are attending high schools by choice, which means that the traffic flow in and out of our schools is much different than how our schools were designed some 30 and 40 years ago. So it is due time for us to think about sequencing of lights and entry and exit into those parking lots to be able to provide a safer entry and exit. The city has decided to install a school zone, but they say it will take time to gather the materials to implement it here on Barnes Road. And today, the D11 superintendent told me he wants the school and these students to be the priority, not the traffic. You can see the flowers that are growing here as students tape them to make sure that they don't blow away in the wind. Reporting live, Annabelle Childers, KRDO News Channel 13.